Howdy everyone, welcome back to Random Things, I'm James, and today we are not talking about this, well kind of. A very while back I did a video on these little airplane sets, I found a Dollar Tree for a buck. Um, I did say in the video I might do something with them, but this is not that video. So, I don't know, maybe it's because I saw this piece of shit that my eyes actually caught this, but guess what? The other day at work, on the way out, I found... These! Um, they appeared to be similar kits, but these are three bucks instead of one. And I want to find out if, you know, if these are better than the other ones. I'm going to assume they're better because they don't come from fucking Dollar Tree, but... You never know. Um, as far as the packaging and stuff goes, it looks better already. Without opening one yet, <laughs> I can see that there's pins um, for putting stuff together. It looks like there might be glue. I'm going to assume this is glue, but it also comes with paints. So I guess this is a more complete kit. It doesn't look as much as a pain in the ass. I'm hoping it's not a pain in the ass. Um, so far, from what I've seen, I only saw two. We got this boat, which I pray to God is not as bad as the fucking first one. And a plane. Now already, can you tell from here is here's the here's the plane. Here's the other plane. This is so much bigger. Um I'm going to do this one on camera, I guess. And this one I'm gonna to do to the side, because if this one is like the other one, I don't have the patience to keep this channel from getting demonetized the things I want to say. But I will open it so we can see what we get in the box here. Um, I'll paint it off camera and everything. This one I am not going to paint. I have a special project for this. I'll get to it at the end of the video. Let's see do. Let's get this bitch open. Now I'll read the packaging. Um, let me see if you can tell. These catch your eye. Um, the boat looks like it has two sails, cool crazy colors. Um, I see a paintbrush, I see string, I see little pins, um, there's holes. Um, these are from Create Go, or Go Create, Build and Paint. Now, when I looked these up to see if there's other ones, um, I got this at Walmart, and I think this is the Walmart house brand, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I've never seen it anywhere else. But the listing says, Build a Plane or a, um, a sailboat or pirate ship is what it's called. But it shows a picture of an airplane and a train. So I'm going to assume, and the packaging looks different too, I'm going to assume there must have at one point in time be a train. If you guys saw any other ones in the past, let me know and maybe I'll pick it up in the follow video. Let's see what we got in here. No staples. That's easy to open. Right off the top. Oh. It must have been pink too. Oh, nice. Pink on package. Um, I don't know if they're good or not. Just some string. I come with a paintbrush. Kind of a cheaper one, but what'd you expect? Pretty standard. Uh, there's the two sails. Yeah, a little fray. I don't know how I feel about that, but then again, it's a pirate ship. Maybe it's supposed to be a little messed up. Because then we got mast. From what it looks like here, look, there's like already grooves in it. You see, like, there's pinholes. At least it wasn't the front. Okay, so look, I think some of this might, you might have to actually use. It doesn't look like it uses a pin or something. So it seems to be back and forth between pins and not pins. Then we got the instructions here. Um, some black and white instructions. Uh, got some Ikea shit with just part A that goes to part B. I mean, it looks simple enough. I'm not sure I feel about that. Actual instructions. Do, do, do. Painting. Oh, it says to paint before assembly. 
or you can paint ship afterwards. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't have a paint scheme. I might do it exactly what it shows on the thing or close to it for simplicity. Um, that's it. It is really simple. Um, if that is glue, indeed glue, then this is a complete set for three bucks, which I really, really like. But we're going to have to see about after it. So I'm going to go build this and hopefully soon get back to you guys. Talk about my thoughts on it while I let the plane build in the background and then tell you what I'm going to do with that. So um, I guess that the other random secret base you guys don't know about. Anyway, be back in a bit, guys. Okay, so I know I said I was going to show me putting together the plane. It wasn't very eventful. It didn't come out too well. So I'm just going to throw them up on screen now and then try to uh, talk about what I like and didn't like about both of them at the same time. Um, don't want to keep the video too, too long. So without further ado, here is the plane kept together with Tic Tac because I have a project. And here's the boat, which is mostly put together with the stuff it came with. I will get to that in a later part. So first up, let's talk about the material, like the wood is made out of. Definitely a step up. As I saw in the, when opening up the, um, like the intro, these are much thicker, hardier pieces of wood. Nothing was broken, like the boat and the plane and stuff from the, the cheaper ones. Had broken pieces, they were super brittle and thin. These are actually nice, kind of chunky. They're not heavy, but they're nice, chunky, you know, sizable. I don't, I would not feel, I don't know where I'm trying to say here. I feel confident they wouldn't break getting played with like the other ones were. So definitely right there, the $3 worth more than though the cheaper ones just for the materials um, they came with now with the coming to easies the ease of putting together eh, maybe not so much at least with one of them that goes on to our next part that's the glue now it's just normal PVA glue and we'll admit with the boat just like the last one it was absolutely fine and good for um, big bulkier pieces. Now something weird is that it didn't come in like a tube, it came in like a paint container and you gotta use the brush to paint it on. Which is actually kinda cool. It was easy to spread that way, not much bleeding and stuff into it. Thought definitely different and actually kinda cool. Um, like I said, the boat there on the bottom and the back half, the um, no pegs for some reason. Despite it coming with pegs, I believe only like, I guess we like the rudder looking piece and the very freaking tip of it at the front are kept on with pegs. Despite there being um, extra pegs, the plane had extra pegs too, so I don't know what that was all about. Um, I don't know why the other pieces didn't have peg holes. I think on the airplane, every piece, but like the engine pieces under the wing had pegs. And from what it looks like, I didn't glue it, but it seems like glue is great for anything where it's a large piece that's flat against something, which almost all of the pieces on the airplane are. So I would assume the plane would have gone together super, super great too. Now on to the paints. Now the paints, uh, first off, it's the brush. This is like the cheapest freaking brush you can get with like, like plasticky bristles, which was good for the glue. I was worried at first, like, hey, I'm gonna put this glue on with the brush. The glue is gonna dry in it, or get you know absorbed in it. It's gonna mess up the paint. It did not. The glue came straight off. Perfect for that. But when it came to the paint, it, it didn't really paint so much. It just kind of smeared color around. I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of irritating. It, on the pictures, on the um, the packaging, it shows like drawing little portholes and windows, these little perfect little circles. Yeah, I was definitely not getting it with this brush. Um, I've seen better brushes at the dollar store. I don't know why they couldn't have a better brush. I mean, I know why is to keep keep it cheap, but this isn't you know it's inexpensive, but it's not a cheap set. As for the paints themselves go, I, there's enough of it. I didn't really have an issue where I know I didn't completely finish painting the boat, but I didn't even use probably even half of one of the pots. So there's definitely a lot of paint. Um, the paint also mixes well. You know, um, it didn't come with green. 
um, so I mixed the blue and the yellow. Now on out with the color selection. They both have the same colors. I thought the boat came with green. It looks green to me, but it dries a yellow. And the plane, it's a yellow. Um, and it has two blues. A light blue and a dark blue and then red. Kind of weird. But um, I don't know why. Weird. I don't know if window colors. I don't know why. Might just add a white. Unless you can have lighter colors. Like makes it with a red to make pink or something. I, very weird to me. Um, the paint, despite the brush not doing well, the wood took the paint very well. Um, just had to keep watering it down to really get to spread really good. And it, it, pretty, it painted and it dried fast. It didn't bleed or like run anywhere. But that was pretty cool. Um, um, one thing though is that I know on the plane it shows the picture using just those colors. But the boat shows those colors you have to mix, making me think that you they want you to mix them. Um, but there's no kind of palette or, or anything, nothing you couldn't mix them on. I just used a cardboard on the top to mix it and it was fine. Not that big a deal, but for an almost complete kit, something something you could at least mix on, even just a little plastic tray for like a palette would have been would have been really, really cool to see. Um, now, which one do I like better? Obviously the plane. The plane looks like it would go together perfectly fine, even with just tic-tac, it's in there snug. Um, I'm sure the paint and everything would, and that would be fine too. Um, the boat sucks. Now, now that it's all said and done, oh, it's actually not that bad looking. It is. I think it's perfect for as a base if you wanted to add stuff to it. Um, I think it's much sizable. It actually kind of does with the two mast on it. It feels bulky. It feels like a boat. It, it is what it is. Um, the glue was the issue. Just like the cheap one, PVA glue, it just does not dry fast enough. Um, the sails, they said they were frayed as hell and trying to get the glue on that and then they, um, the parts where the glue hits into the mast are actually slotted for you to slide the, the sails into it but the PVA glue no matter what just does not dry fast enough to keep it in there it would not not slide out no matter what I did I ended up having to get the super glue and the accelerant out to get it tacked down. And even then there'd be times where I put it in there, would hit it and it would like some reason it would just dry and soak into the sail, but not into any of the wood and it wouldn't attach it. And I had to do it multiple times. Not fun, um, not kid friendly. I don't know many people who just, the other kids have got the accelerant and super glue in their um, the arsenal, especially accelerant. That's something that needed to be addressed. The masts too. Um, it's a very thin connection point. PVA glue did work. I left it there, but I had to leave it overnight. Same thing with putting the, the mast into the base. PVA glue works fine with the big areas, but some more delicate areas, it takes so long, like an overnight, that I just don't see how this would be fun. So boat, eh, mixed opinions on. Cool when it's said and done, need an extra part. Plane, pretty awesome. I'm gonna use it for extra stuff. An upcoming project, probably work on it right after this video is done. Um, all in all, I would give these kits a B plus. I mean, they are cool. Um, the flaws are my are minimum. I mean, a couple extra bucks more, and you could really get a lot of use out of these. If you're already an artist into the stuff, you probably already have the glue and better paint brushes. I suggest using them. All in all, this gets a um, a B plus for me. Um, but I want to know what you guys think about them. Um, have you guys seen these at your local Walmart? Have you seen them in other places? Have you guys seen that train? If I ever see it, do you, do you guys want me to grab it and do a follow it to this? You know, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys are doing, how you guys are doing down in the comments. Always want to hear from you guys. Also helps the channel. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, let me know. Um, I'm trying to do shorts. So if you guys see something you want me to review, I can do a short on it, just get it out there, see how the rest of the audience feels like. Um, so yeah, you guys have a good one, thanks for stopping by, and I will catch you again some other time.